real honour to have so many of you here in the beautiful city of Brisbane uh, for this first ever G20 Leaders Retreat. Uh, I'm very conscious of the fact that the people around this room are uh, some of the most influential and powerful people in this world, indeed the most. And yet, uh, as we all know, uh, our power and our authority is circumscribed. Uh, we are meeting in the Legislative Council Chamber of the Queensland State Parliament, and back in the 1920s, this room symbolises the limitations on our power. Now, we have heavy responsibilities, uh, all of us. Um, the world is looking to all of us right now uh, to try to demonstrate to an uncertain and at times anxious world that there are people who know what they're doing, that there are people who have a plan, a plan for growth and for jobs. Um, and that's our challenge uh, to leave this G20 meeting in 48 hours time, having instilled more confidence in the people of the world uh, that there is a better and brighter future for all of us. But the limitations of our authority, uh, the clash of policy and politics, uh, the difficulty of trying to put good economics into practice, given the political constraints that we all have, uh, that's what I would like us to be able to discuss. We all know what we would like to do, uh, but we all know that there are many constraints on what we can do. If I could kick off when I was elected, my government was elected uh, 14 months ago, uh, I made uh, four promises to the Australian people. Uh, first, that I would repeal the carbon tax. Second, that I would stop the illegal boats. Third, that we would start building roads in particular. And fourth, I said, I would get the budget under control. Massively difficult. Four liberalisations at the same time. To deregulate higher education, that students never like to pay more. More price signals. Seven dollar co payment to see the doctor. Magic answers to the problem individually 